So JP Dokkan has gotten a massive data download and has updated to the 5.17 version. So we're going to cover all of that. So there's a lot here. <laughs> First of all, it looks like Ella Goku's EZ8 is out right now. EZ8 on the 11th of the 1st. We'll double check that right now. We've already gone through his details and um, some other things that we will cover as well. Uh, this is going to be a mess of a video, but I hope you guys do enjoy. Ella Goku's banner is here if you do want to summon for him. Uh, probably not worth it. The banner is not that great at all. But if we jump into... Whoa, you see that? 5.17 loading screen or something. God damn. So LR Goku's event is out right now. I guess while we are on here, we might as well check our new power level as well. Since it did get updated with the points. And... Oh, wow. They don't have like the um, little decibels. So I gained about 100 to... 150,000 power level from this update. Nothing too serious. Let's see what this button does. Okay, I see. So it shows you... I mean, I can't read all of this, but it shows you all the bonus drops that you can get. All good, all good. That's pretty much it for the data. Now, for the EZA, it is Resurrected Warriors as the weakness. Remember, it is an LR EZA event, so there's only 10 stages, and you need the Legendary Power Link in order to get the... Uh, in order to do damage. Uh, let's quickly check on the Resurrected Warriors category. Obviously, Harutagon does actually work really well here as the leader skill. Um, and then the LRs. There are a few free-to-play LRs for Int, which is good. It should help me out quite well. You can even just run um, Cell here. He is an extreme Int leader for 130%. So you can run that and then just run a bunch of int resurrected warriors and you should be fine. I, I don't think this is going to be challenging at all. Uh, right now we can do the new ultimate red zone, which is stage three and four. Let's have a quick look at the stages here. So we have Brawly, which has three phases uh, with a 1.4 million damage super at 14% chance to do so. 50 million HP. All right. He does 10 attacks per turn and he looks like he raises attack. God damn that is going to be a lot of damage uh to you you can't really stun seal or anything on the final phase and then the second phase is super saiyan broly who raises defense with a million uh damage super attack and then we have the int broly here with a 625,000 damage super attack you can stun him lowering attack uh, you can even lower the attack of the int broly so that will help me out tremendously knowing that I can do that. We'll see if I can do it free-to-play in the future. I'll probably be live after this video goes live as well, just um, trying to do these red zone attempts. And there is no AoE for this Broly, thankfully. <laughs> uh, and then this is the Bio Broly stage here. So we have Bio Broly members. This is one phase, so you're versing three enemies here, all with about 10 million HP on average. Uh, you can do multiple different things to them for each one uh the green the tech one can dodge at five percent you can't stun the int one and you can't lower the attack and defense of the str one interesting and then you have the first agl viral rolly which you can lower the attack of uh he does recover hp as well two percent which is a decent amount it's like one point something it's like 1.6 million hp pretty much he does a million damage super but he doesn't raise attack or anything and then we have giant bio of brawly this could potentially be a new card in the future maybe a new free to play card 1.3 million damage super and you can't do any sort of debuffs on him as well with 80 million all right i don't know if i could possibly do it but we'll see uh again my twitch stream in the description now, not only Goku has been confirmed, but all of these typing support EZAs are getting an EZA in a week. There is a lot. Obviously, there's one for each single typing and class. So we're going to have a quick browse of them to see what they can do. So each one will now lead their respective typing and class for 4 key and 150%. Sword Gohan greatly raises the attack and high chance of stunning. Physical support for 3 key and one and 10%. And then the super typing for physicals will be an additional 50% support. The orb changes to physical orbs. Increases own attack and defense by 50% with, with each orb obtained. Further attack defends 20% up with each physical orb obtained. With a 10% increase in critical hits. In addition to yourself on the team, 
when there are two or more super allies, when only once when HP is 50% or below, changes all key spheres to physical key spheres. That's crazy. Might be a pretty cool combo for you can like boost up the physical super Vegeta. In addition to yourself, when there are three or more allies with the physical attributes, guards all attacks for four turns after appearance. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice addition. Add, add some guard. Obviously relies on orbs, so it's going to be quite painful to use him still. For the Super Boo, he raises attack defense for one turn with a 20% HP recovery. That is a lot. Uh, he does the same supporting, same orb changing. Um, same amount of attack and defense, 50% up with 20% with the critical increase. All right. So it's pretty much the same thing. Copy and paste to the T almost. I think it is to the T except for the extreme allies part to change all the orbs to physical orbs. Rildo, uh, he raises attack and defense greatly. So that's a 50% attack and defense. He lowers attack and defense and seals the enemy. And then it is a copy and paste with the passive skill. So the only thing, major thing that's changing is the SA mechanic. Pan has the two-turn allies attack defense 30% up, which is kind of nice. And of course, the copy and paste passive. Kaba here has attack and defense 50% up for nine turns. Might not be significant though, just because he relies, there's no start of turn defense other gra than grabbing orbs. So still relies on grabbing the orbs, but for nine turns, it could work out pretty well. Then we got hits, which increases defense significantly. And I believe that is an infinite stack. So that's pretty cool. Tien increases attack significantly for one turn. This is 50% up. Mets damage to the enemy and greatly lowers attack and defense. Cell gets the greatly raised defense for one turn, greatly lowers attack and defense. Gohan increases attack and defense by 50% for 9 turns. So just like Kaba, but for Int. And then the Vegeta greatly raises attack and high chance to stun the enemy. I don't know which one out of the 10 are going to be the most effective for this current meta right now. But um, if you do have them, that is good. And with, and with that, it means they should be able to be pulled in their own specific banner or something. I know a lot of you guys are missing these kinds of characters, so it's good that they return with an EZA. Speaking of EZA, I don't think their EZA event is actually in here. It might just be like from the barber shop. So, because there is no, there's, there's no other event in here in the database other than the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that we have just saw. Now let's cover some of the news that we saw briefly when I logged into Doka. It looks like the Guru event is back. So this is the campaign for the new year. Let's have a look here. So yeah, this, this confirms that Super Saiyan 3 Goku is out. The banners will drop on the 18th, so you can pull for them. Okay, so they do have an EZA area. That's why I couldn't find it. It's an EZA area, not an EZA. So that will release at the same time. The red zones are out, uh, and it doesn't actually show any future EZAs as well. And this is all pretty much old news nothing else here um that we that we haven't already covered uh combat bonus release campaign so with the release of the new um combat bonus extra effects we have the guru stage which is out right now to get that really nice link leveling potential got missions which we will go through in a bit xp and um the hidden potential um for every single day and the five boost which is really cool uh, mission appearance in Darken events. You can listen to special background music. This is probably to do with the upcoming um, anniversary. So God of Destruction, Universe 7, Stage 3. You can listen to the um, very cool song um, Hero from Flo. And then the uh, Golden Freezer, you can hear the Maximum, the Hormone. I don't even know. I don't really know that song all too much. I definitely know Hero. Everybody knows Hero. <laughs> So if you're a YouTuber, try not to play these songs. They're copyrighted. Um, so we'll go through the missions now. Now, from this image, it looks like you can get special keys for the guaranteed link leveling Supreme Kai stage. So we'll see what we have to do. The first missions are the special background music stuff um, for the Doken event. If you just clear the God of Destruction Universe 7 stage 3 Super 2, uh, you get one Elder Kai. Uh, and then God of Destruction Universe in within four turns, you get two Elder Kais. And then the final mission for two extra Elder Kai's is Power of Wishes with four more characters in that category in your team. And then the Golden Freezer event, Doken event, stage one, clear, 
clear within six turns. And then the final mission here is Mastered Evolution, I believe. Um, at least four characters in your team. We have the easier area missions, so nothing too crazy. Just clear the stage seven times. Then we have the Super Battle Road missions, which is pretty common to do the new Super Battle Road stages in the next two days. So this is the combat power missions here. Uh, by, do by filling in potential orbs, you get potential orbs back. By filling out 250 orbs, you get one Dragon Stone. And that goes all the way to 500 for an extra Dragon Stone. Now, I want to see where the keys are. I saw those purple keys. Raise your link skills by level 10 in total, and you get one key. Raise your link skills by 20 levels in total, you get another key. So if you raise 30 link skills up a level, you get a free run of the Supreme Kai event, which is very nice indeed. And then by completing all of that, you have three dragon stones. And that is pretty pretty much it for the missions so the last bit of information here i don't want to get you guys too confused or get your hopes up um so i'm just gonna add this to the end of the video uh these are like some of the lines added probably for the ninth anniversary effects um main thing that you want to know is the target focus you have become the enemy's target people are speculating that you it's pretty much a taunt skill for one of your characters to take all the hits of the turn for from the enemy and then this territory skill here is for the enemy and i'm assuming it's like their version of like a domain skill essentially which could um add some extra effects when you're versing a specific boss i'm not too sure though um of course these are just lines and text there's not really much to go off about so yeah that's pretty much it for today's news um if i missed out on anything make sure you comment it down below and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm streaming right now, twitch.tv forward slash jfanta for the red zone event attempts and the EZA, I guess. So I'll see you guys there. Until the next one, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace.